If you don't like controllers, and you even play racing games with mouse and keyboard, Are you serious? then you should think twice if you like to replace your gaming PC with an Xbox. Connecting my wired keyboard and my Logitech G305 to the Xbox was quite simple. Just connect the dongle and the cable and you're good to go. No driver installation is necessary to use your keyboard and mouse on your Xbox. Everything is plug and play. The pointer speed setting is the only option to configure the mouse in the Xbox menu. Unfortunately, we don't have any mouse support on the home screen, which would increase, of course, the usability a lot. Instead, you have to use your keyboard. And to be very honest, in this case, I rather use my gamepad. If you're thinking about using your Xbox for productivity like studying, then don't. Even you can access Microsoft 365 via the Edge browser on your Xbox. The experience what I had was actually quite bad. First of all, even you connect your Xbox on a 4K screen, the resolution from the Excel or Word sheets are quite low. That means if you have a very big Excel sheet or very big paper to look at it, the overview is actually not very good. And the next thing and the most important thing for me is actually you can't have two tabs side by side for easy comparison from your yeah, two documents. In my opinion, Xbox and Office 365 don't do it. Okay, so let's talk about the games and we need to keep in mind that not all the games, not all the first person shooters on the Xbox supporting actually, yeah, mouse and keyboard. And just because we have a very nice support doing gameplay, that doesn't mean necessarily that the same counts also for the menus because in Halo Infinite, there is no mouse support at all that means you need to use your keyboard to navigate through yeah, the settings here and in my opinion it is much easier with the gamepad speaking of games with no mouse and keyboard support battlefield 5 battlefield 2042 and the latest rainbow six extraction there is no support whatsoever for mouse and keyboard Fortnite is in my opinion one of the best games with mouse and keyboard support and even the mouse support in the menu is a little bit laggy during gameplay. There is no problem at all. I haven't had any problem at all to play this game on the Xbox compared to the PC. No difference at all. If you're right now in the process of considering to replace your old gaming PC with a brand new Xbox and you don't know what to do and you're looking for some advice, then this really depends on a couple of things. If your main purpose is 100% playing games and you're not afraid to use a gamepad even for first person shooter, then I can't see why you shouldn't. On the other hand, if you can't stand gamepads and you like to play all FPS games with mouse and keyboard and or you have to do some productivity work like studying, then the Xbox is not the right choice for you. Before we end this video, two more things. The experience with mouse and keyboard was exactly the same on the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S. The only difference between those two systems is actually yeah, resolution and frame rate in some games. And the last thing is, if you're really playing racing games with mouse and keyboard, I don't even know what to say. Thank you very much for watching me. I see you guys next time. Bye.